for us to go out. It's always good to have him help me out. Huh. He gets a little tired. He's not much of a talker at 4.30 or 5. Huh? <laughs> All right, we're going to get everything ready to go milk. Finishing up milking Elsa this morning. Aiden is doing the post dip. Oh, we have a good routine. Me and Aiden's been going after it. I, I do most of the first part while he hooks up everything. And then he finishes off as I get ready to take her back. So, Like we said, after we milked her, we went on and got her out. But then uh, we brought Allie in with her practice in the stench. And I'm not going to do any kind of touching. I've just been petting her. I'm not going to try to touch her udders today. I want her to get back used to just coming in the stench and eating right after Elsa. So part of the stench and training is just a or she know that basically after Elsa gets done, it's her time to get the stanchion. Look how much smaller she is. Like, you know, Elsa sticks way back here. We barely get the chain around her. Look how small Elsa, I mean, Allie is. <laughs> Compare the dif difference between a full-size jersey and then just a little low-line miniature jersey, so. She's loving this, buddy. Free food without fighting with other cows. It has been a beautiful morning. Sayla does not have school on Friday, so this is, uh, we're filming this on Friday. Um, and she is able to take one day off from school because she does her work in four days where the other ones have to homeschool for five. So, so she's coming with me. We uh, got milking done, as you saw. We uh, had some fun playing uh, pick a boo with uh, Jennings. He likes to play pick a boo. So, we're going to run to the co-ops. We've got to pick up a few more um, things. Just um, we need some um, some more DE and things like that as we start the fall season. And uh, so we're going to go do a little of that today. Uh, we've got to make some tomato sticks. Uh, you know, I told you on a few vlogs ago we had to go to the co-ops and buy some tomato sticks. Well, we bought some, but they didn't have a lot. So now we've got to make the rest of them because everybody, pretty much their tomato seasons are done. However, ours is uh, still rolling strong, especially with our fall tomatoes uh, in our greenhouses and in our raised bed. So we're going to do a little of that today. Um, we actually have built, uh, we didn't vlog about this, but we built a new paddock at the big cows fields uh, up, up, up at the family land. So we, we do need to do some temporary paddocks there and temporary fencing throughout the permanent fencing. But um, we should have a vlog on that in the next few uh few days or so uh, I don't know if we'll get to it today but um we've got to do a little mowing and you know just some maintenance around the house um, we've got to move uh, daddy-o and uh, and beauty that's right good job we're gonna move them to a new paddock today and then uh, other than that I think that we're going to just have a good fun day hanging out with the kids and uh, doing a little work around the house we all our bees are doing good we kind of get to this lull right between spring summer gardens and fall garden there's still a lot to do but not nearly as much of uh, I guess pressing things to do so we're gonna try to get done with some of the little medial things that we need to get done with before we roll into true fall garden season for us zone 8 we don't have to really start fall gardening till late August um, we do of course have some things in the ground like our pumpkins and, and, and the cucumbers and corn but things like uh, the peas will start back in, in late August We'll start our uh, brassicas around late August, so we've got a little time there. So um, we're going to just do a little bit more cleaning up. We're going to try to get the rest of the cattle panels uh, for the fourth time I've said that, or fifth time I've said that. Uh, we've got most of the cattle panels out of the garden. We're going to finish that up this morning, and then uh, hopefully kind of be just ready and coasting through the weekend and uh, and uh, getting ready for an eventful season as fall gardening style starts. Uh, we hope that y'all have enjoyed. Um, the three minute Thursdays that we have just started and we hope that you're enjoying our Wednesday nights, the Max at 8. Uh, if you haven't caught either one of those, please try to catch it. Uh, I hope we're hoping you're liking our channel, of course, but uh, just thank you for being a part of our channel. I don't know if I say that enough, but thank you so much for supporting our channel and watching it and commenting. And we, we love hearing from so many of you. So um, we're gonna go ahead and start our day. Just wanted to bring you along as we went to town to pick up a few little things before we, before we get back and started. And uh, like I said, our big helper is going to help us back there. And uh, while the other ones do school, we're going to try to knock out a few things uh, today. Our pumpkins are looking great, by the way. If you see the whole line on there and some lines back here and lines back there. Uh, the only thing is, you can tell they're starting to kind of wilt a little bit. 
Um, where we're sitting on this hill, I have not built my rainwater catchment for this, this area. So I'm hoping that we get a little rain because they are starting to look a little drab. Um, they're not terrible, but you can see how they're starting to just lay down, turn a little yellow. And it's simply because of water. The soil is absolutely outstanding and they've grown exponentially just from that. However, we are needing some rain. We have not had rain, a good rain. I mean, we've had little showers here and there. Uh, even the last few vlogs, we've talked about it, but not just a good set in strong rain. So I'm hoping that that will happen this week. We were set to have rain yesterday and even we were supposed to have rain um, really all the way last week, about two days, but we never received heavy rains. We received rains those days, but nothing that, uh, that we really needed, especially for our gardens and our grass. Our grass has kind of stagnated growth. So um, we'll watch that on our rotational plan and we'll talk about that a little bit when we start moving cows. But um, pumpkins are looking good. Just if they don't get rain sooner, I build some kind of way to catch it. I do have my, my of course my lake is sitting right here beside me, but it's, it's going uphill. So I don't know if I can siphon enough and have enough pressure to, to you know to, to push on them so we might even try that I'm not sure so um, we'll watch it if we don't get rain by this weekend um, I might have to do that and see if we can get some water up here or either carry a bunch of five gallon buckets up here and throw some water on them so we'll see what we can do there too all right time to move you girl time to move your partners you're going a different way and they're going a different way look how pretty this definitive line is here I mean you could definitely tell where they've stopped eating they were when their fists would start. It was just high, high, high grass right here. So we're going to go and get them moved. You know, splitting them is going to be fun. I'm going to have to probably get a little feed for these two because they're so used to letting Allie lead them. And they're trying to go with Allie. And Allie's just going to go over there with Elsa. So we'll see what happens. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Good job. Go, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Good job, buddy. Come on. Come on. Now, now she's not staying in that paddock, but look, look how thick this grass is. She, that's only two weeks from her being in there. That was the one we left when we were, we took her out of after Michigan. Look how deep that grass is. And we're actually in a season where this is normally wet water and it's just dry because it's just mud because we hadn't really had rain. This is the paddock they're in. That was a week ago and you look how good it is. But look at two weeks and I mean she's just I mean it's just crazy how good it grows and it all comes down to managing it um, by moving them long as you don't let it get too short if you let it get too short it takes forever for it to grow but if you let it get just short enough it will it will thrive when they get off of it you see how smart cows are I mean we, we don't give them probably enough credit sometimes they be stubborn no food or nothing she's leading me she knows that she needs to be on this other side when we go to rotate and I make those commands. So that's that's how cool it is to own cattle sometimes. I mean, you know, when I mean, she's walking ahead of me, it's a nothing but her command to go. And she has went. And she has not went this routine for probably three weeks. I mean, three months. So look at look how good she's doing. Smart cows. Smart cow. If you have a dumb cow, you don't need to keep it with your herd or all of them will be dumb. If you have a stubborn cow, you need to train it. Other than that, you got a smart cow. This paddock we're almost done in. We'll actually put them back in this one here. Um, probably in the next week or so. But I'm trying to let them get done with these two packs. This one here and that one over there that they just got done with a few weeks ago. 
both are going to be our ryegrass plots for winter. So I really need them to kind of take down all the grass, eat it, eat the stuff that they don't even like sometimes, some old weed grass that they will eat. It just makes them have to eat it. It's not the ice cream, it's the broccoli. So I'm going to make them eat that. That way then we can move them over here. And those we're going to probably disc up. They need to eat that little bit over there on that hill. But we're going to probably disc this up and then throw some ryegrass seed on it to get it come up with a good patch for winter and that's what they'll sup, sup will supplement that plus the hay uh, for the winter season so look see she's got to show her dominance she is the boss around here a for Allie, a for alpha she um she's the boss she's the smallest one too what's so funny out of the bigger cow she's the smallest one but she has horns and she knows how to use them and she's been here the longest so i guess she thinks that entitles her to be the the woman of the house. All right, cows are moved. We're gonna we're filling up the water on the other side by Daddyo and uh, Beauty. We may throw another cow or two in here. I don't know if I'm gonna get the ones from the bigger my bigger cows and bring the heifers down here um, while they're bred, or either get some uh, some new heifers here because I've got tons of grass. The rotation's doing good, and really, I could use two or three more cow easily. So we're gonna kind of think about that a little bit more. I know the other day I put it on the vlog that give me an idea on sheep or, or um, cows. I think a lot of people said cattle, because that's what we're used to around here. But um, we may still look at sheep, but we really need cows for what we got, and we still have more room to put sheep. So we're just trying to figure out what's the best for right now. I know I actually looked at two cow yesterday, but. It just didn't work out. Me and the buyer just uh, couldn't get to, to terms. <laughs> I don't really need more milk cows because I've got two two jerseys and of course the bull. But I do I, I could take some more meat cows, not milk cows, but meat cows. So we're gonna see. Right now I'm just filling up their water. I'm just to water the cucumbers uh, and the corn because I can actually reach it with hose. Like I said, I can't reach the pumpkins, um, but the cucumbers are looking way too good and the corn's looking way too good to um, to not go ahead and get them some water because I don't know what the what it's going to be when it comes to rain. It's a beautiful sky right now, so I don't think rain's in the pattern. So, uh, look, we got the we got the chicken wiring in, so we're going to go ahead and try to get some permaculture chicken set up. So I don't have a way to to house them in this coop yet, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. So that way they can keep on having places to lay their eggs and also um, to to be safe for the night. So. But we are going to try to go and get the netting up and see if we can at least get it established and make sure we see how long it is, big it is, and um, and that way we know kind of where we got to take up these uh, these T posts here. So, well, this video is just going to kind of end where it started. Um, like I've said before, cows, after a long hard day, sometimes they're just good therapy, and sometimes they can really stress you out. They really can, but they're just good to be around. This is Elsa. She's just laying here. Let me just pet her milked her this morning just got off work had a long day of work but you know it's always good to come home and see them and spend some time with them she's just gonna lay down and let me pet her hey buddy Ike is gonna come pay us a visit well thank you for watching the max thank you for hanging out with us and with our cows as they chomp on some grass we hope if you are enjoying our blogs and again our, our Wednesday nights, our Thursday um, uh, blogs dealing with a three minute Thursday. So uh, we hope that you enjoy them. Comment, tell us what you like to see, what you don't like to see. Um, we love talking about grass management and cows. We love talking about bees. Um, Misty's got a, a, some great videos coming on on how to's for inside the kitchen. So we're hoping to really enjoy uh, the next few blogs and hope you do too. So uh, if you hadn't subscribed to us, please do. It's always good to have a good community of homesteaders and farmers alike as we try to have a more sustainable, organic life. We hope that you have a good day and God bless. Happy homesteading, y'all.